Hudson. We finished analyzing that mainframe that Mason Woods brought from Yamato. And? Perseus was looking for the names of sleeper agents Dragovich used in 68. Give us those names. We'll get Adler's team to track them down. Perseus erased them. Fuck me. There's only one place you're gonna find that information now. The Lubyanka building. What? KGB headquarters? Why didn't Perseus get them there himself? I don't know. Maybe he's operating without authorization. I'll let Adler know. But we're gonna do this the right way. We're not gonna do it at all. The Lubyanka building, KGB headquarters in Moscow. The sleeper agent records are stored in the archives 100 feet below ground in a nuclear defense command bunker. Your only way in or out is through this high security elevator. We'll need proper credentials. That's where our asset, Belikov, comes into play. Belikov has been our source inside the KGB for nearly a decade. He'll get us in. He came through for us in Yamantau. He'll do it again. This shit is crazy, even by his standards. You sure he's on board? An immediate nuclear threat warrants every risk at this point. I'm sure he wouldn't disagree. Sims, get Belikov on the line. Hello, Belikov на трубке. Belikov, you've been summoned to the conference room upstairs. Secretary Gorbachev is here from the Central Committee. Comrade 
Belikov. Have a seat. General Secretary Brezhnev has taken an interest in the new security development. There's a mole within the KGB. The committee wants someone from the first chief directorate to oversee Colonel Kravchenko's investigation. If you've not met him already, this is Imran Zakayev. Thank you, Secretary Gorbachev. And thank you all for welcoming me with open arms. I can think of no greater tragedy than a home violated from the inside. The trust and love within a family is sacred. Apparently. Not everyone shares your beautiful sentiments. Comrade Belikov, as head of security, I understand you've practically exhausted yourself trying to unearth this mole. How is that gone? <clears throat> I am not a patient man, Vilikov, or a compassionate one. Until the mole is found, I want security increased around the bunker. Zakayev, do you have any recommendations? We should restrict bunker access. We also want to cultivate closer relationships with Lugovic. I want to know your hopes, your fears, your ambitions. Be thorough, but we don't want any significant disruptions. And you, Velikov? Who do you think should retain bunker access during the investigation? <laughs> Comrade Velikov, my apologies. Even your bunker access has been revoked. We can't be too cautious, can we? Secretary Gorbachev, I believe it would be best if only General Charkov retains his bunker key for now. Very well. See to it. Worry yourself no longer, sir. I've already ordered the bunker keys collected from the men. Comrade Belikov, we are in grave danger from the capitalists. <laughs> our collective, our very way of life is at risk. The traitor will be caught. And he will pay a high price for his betrayal. <laughs> Belikov, you are dismissed. I'm being watched. I need a bunker key. Now, first, I'll have to kill the cameras. This area is restricted. If I'm spotted, oh, can I help you, sir? Blow my car. Now I need to hide the body. How about one of those lockers? I have to get a bunker key for Adler. He'll need it to access the vault. <sighs> Unfortunately, Cherkov now has the only one.
How can I help you, sir? I'm sorry, Comrade Velikov, but Zakayev has increased security measures. You'll need authorization from the war room like anyone else. I'm sorry, I can't. Zakayev would have my head on a pike. How important is pursuing this lead to you? Ah, a Cuban cigar would really distract me. I'm sure you could find a personal stash in one of the offices. Sir, the guard won't let me in. Uh, I need to get what he asked for. Came out.
Maybe there's a clue to the combination somewhere in the office. How can I help you, sir? Wonderful. I'll let you in. But this never happened. Good day, sir. In data entry, I could program this blank key card into a bunker key, yes. If I'm seeing this would be treason. Okay, now I need to head to the basement and let Adler's team in. How can I help you, sir? Attention, 
Steam will need uniforms to get past security. Luring two soldiers into the tunnel should be the trick. Bielikov here. Send a security detail to meet me in the furnace room. Immediately. I wasn't sure you'd come through. I don't have much choice, do I? This keycard gives you elevated access to the bunker. What about uniforms? Shh, sounds like they're here now. Okay, I will lead them through and distract them. You two do the rest. Now, take cover. Keep it clean. Uniforms are no good to us, bloody. Там, там, там. Я нашел мне запертую дверь. Нету никакого оправдания. Это не компетентности. У нас есть очень строгие протоколы, чтобы это предотвратить. Понятно? to leave, but you should have everything you need. Now, if stopped, you are reporting to Commander Sobel. Get changed. Here, our weapons and keycard are in the back. This way. Once we're in the bunker, we're on our own.
Morsche pusti ich nass. Morgen. No metal detectors for us. We're going around. Куда это вы направляетесь? Досмотр обязателен для всех, без исключения. Вы должны пройти досмотр. Товарищ, доставьте вашу сумку сюда для досмотра. Пойдем он едем к Дайте нам пройти. Принимайте это близко к сердцу, товарищ. У меня приказ досматривать всех, без исключения. Товарищ, ты нужен за Кайву. Я разберусь. Спасибо, товарищ. Поздравите, великого. По-моему, я здесь, нет? Пойдем. Когда вы прибыли? Ах да, разумеется. Кто ваш командир? Я не расслышал. Вы что, сударака меня дерзите? Elevator conversation always gets awkward. Gear up. They won't be happy to see us down here. Wait for my word. Прежде чем Гравченко успел с... Moving towards the vault. 
Where's the vault? One duck! There's the list bell. Copy it to a disc. Almost 
through the door. Here they come. up top. They are on full alert, melting the building down. We'll have to fight our way out. We're gonna need some heavier gear. I know just the place, my friend. They are heavy 
Southwest courtyard in five minutes. Velikov is hitching a ride. Plenty of room in the backseat. Once we get off the elevator, just keep moving towards the courtyard. Get the charge ready, though.
heading back. Be ready to move. It's about time. Been waiting for your call. They caused a hell of a mess in Moscow. Was it worth it? Adler managed to get the list of sleeper agent names, despite himself. He's got balls, I'll give him that. Bell did well. Seemingly. But I think that team is getting too comfortable. They're acting like they know who they're dealing with. Perhaps. Turns out, one of those sleeper agents is tied to Operation Greenlight. Theodore Hastings. He's a nuclear engineer based out of Salt Lake City. And you believe Hastings is the one he'll activate? Exactly. Total surveillance is already underway. It's only a matter of time before he leads us straight to Perseus. This is it. The recent movements of Theodore Hastings has led us here. Cuba. Right in our backyard. A vacant government facility in the Cuban countryside has become a hub of activity for Perseus, and the likely location of the stolen nuke. No doubt Castro allowed it. Twenty bucks to anyone who can bring him down before me. Who? Castro or Perseus? Whoever. We are not gonna let him move this nuke inside the states. It's time to take down Perseus, once and for all. Team, wrap up any unfinished business. Once we strike, there's no turning back. Woods, don't get any bright ideas over there. Yeah, you've got my sure as shit. Hastings left Salt Lake City. We tracked his movements all the way to Cuba. We have to assume Perseus moved the nuke there. Langley believes Castro could help Perseus smuggle it into the U.S. in exchange for a peek at the hardware, of course. That isn't gonna happen. What's the plan? The last read we have on Hastings came from 30 miles south of Havana. We suspect Perseus is using an abandoned compound there to hold the nuke. They're working under the radar, so expect moderate security. I say we smash and grab. Parachute in, grab the nuke, skyhook out. And what if the nuke isn't there? It's there. The only reason Perseus needs Hastings in Cuba is to prepare it for arming and detonation. There you have it. Hudson will arrange our exfil while we're en route. If everyone's ready, let's move out. Adler's late. No, love, we're early. Adler should be checking in right about... Mark, we're in position. Copy that. We're moving to flank. All teams, we do this fast and loud. Find Hastings, grab the nuke, get the hell out. Woods, light up this joint. About fucking time. Do the honors, Bill. Move it! I'm moving! All teams fan out. Advance to the main gate.
moving. Grenade! got close circuit cameras. We could use them to locate the nuclear bomb. Sharp as ever, Park. Spread out. Find that nuke. Shop. Contact. Fuck. Is everyone all right? Bell, sweep for mines. Now. 
way we finally grab that drink when this is over. Your persistence is admirable, Lazar. That's not a no. Jesus, get a fucking room, you two. Lovely. This will come... Mason, you missed one behind the counter. Thanks, Park. Keep looking. There. Hold it. Adler, we have eyes on the nuclear device. Bloody hell. Someone's killing the scientists. Second floor, room 27B. Second floor, center room. Upstairs, Look let's out. move. Get you there, Mark. Crude, but effective. Can't keep your eyes off me, huh, Park? Bell, use the C4.
Seven B. Add the heading inside. The Bell canvas the room. Hastings, start talking. <laughs> Perseus was here. <coughs> he shot us. He escaped. Perseus would never leave his precious nuke behind. He forced us to reverse engineer the detonation codes. They give him full access to green light. What? Are you telling me Perseus can detonate multiple nukes in Europe? I'm so sorry. Hastings, stay with us. How many green light devices can Perseus detonate with those codes? He can detonate all of them. He'll wipe out half of Europe. And blame it all on the USA. We need to find that son of a bitch, Perseus. Time to go. No? Contact. Chopper coming in low. It's gotta be Perseus. All teams head to the roof. Move! Move! Getting low on ammo. 
Where's that plane? One minute. Stay focused, Rizzo. I'll tell you what. When we get out of this, I'm by. Now that's something. Green team, this is Skyhook. The zone is hot as hell. We're doing this is. We'll be much appreciated, Skyhook. Roger that. Help is on the way. Roger that. Clearing the roof now. I can see the plane. Mark, we need to hook into the line now. We'll do it in turns. Bell, you harness up first. We'll cover. Go. Take cover. Shit. That was a goddamn fiasco. You go in with the intel you have, not the intel you want. We paid the fucking piper down there. You think this is Bell's fault? I don't know whose fault it is. I just know that Perseus doesn't have a single fucking nuke. He's got dozens. Millions of people are gonna die, and the United States will take the blame. You need to find out where he's planning to broadcast the activation signal. How are we gonna pull that out of our ass? Bell knows where it is. Bell? This goddamn science project was a failure! Don't count Adler out yet. The man has a deep bag of tricks. Come on, a little further. Sims, get the gurney. Since, get the dosages ready. All of them. Adler, stop wasting our valuable time. He's of no use anymore. Stay alert, Bell. You're the key to stop the persons. No more half assed We're doing an intracerebral injection. Directly into the brain? Not sure I can watch this. Damn. Put the eye socket. You sure about this, Doc? Wish there was another way. You got this, Bell. Bell, listen to me. I need you to remember. Think back to our time in Vietnam one more time. We need to finish what we started. We had a job to do. Think, Bell. Perseus. Do you remember coming face to face with Perseus in Vietnam? EKG is spiking. Shit. Heart rate's off the charts. I need you to relax and focus, Bell. Your helicopter crashed. You made your way through the jungle, alone. You found a bunker. 
Do you remember the bunker, Bell? We need to know what's inside that bunker. Do not trust Adler. Adler is lying to you. Do not trust him. Do not listen to Adler. He is lying to you. He is lying to you. Do not trust Adler. During a mission to investigate reports of a Soviet bunker, your chopper was hit by ground fire. According to your debrief, you woke up in the middle of a firefight. The crash survivors were defending against a VC attack. You ran forward and picked up an M16. Or maybe it was another one. Then you realized you were the sole survivor. You set off to locate the bunker. The path split near a ruin, so he took the right fork, not the trail to the left. Sure, it was a nice river. Keep going.
You heard Russian voices from a cave across the river, so you went to investigate. You equipped your shotgun and had a bow with you. That's when you discovered VC soldiers meeting with Soviet agents. Yes, Bell. That was the door into the Soviet bunker. Yes, good, the bunker. Now tell me about Perseus. your crew was missing. 
The VC were on the ground searching for survivors. You readied your bow to take them out silently. split near a ruin, so you took the well-traveled trail on your left, not toward the waterfall on the right.
You mentioned crossing a bridge near a village. I thought it was somewhere on the other side. At the fork, you followed the road right toward the sound of gunfire. Seeing a firefight, you readied your M16. We stored up a hornet's nest. We need choppers. Roger that. Chopper inbound. ETA 2. Yes, this was the bunker entrance you described in the report. Clark wrote some notes here. Said this section could trigger seizures.
Don't stop, Bell. Fuck, fuck! Hand me the fallback scenario manual. Here you go. Bell, we've got a job to do. According to your debrief, you woke up in the middle of a firefight. Crash survivors were defending against a VC attack. You readied a grenade launcher and charged it. Path split near a ruin, so you took the well-traveled trail on your left, not toward the waterfall on the right. at the bunker across the bridge. You went left at the fort, not right.
few allies were pinned down on a ridge, you readied your sniper rifle to assist. I don't care if the door was fucking stuck. Open it. Give Bell another injection. I don't know if that's a good idea with all the shit he's on. Do it now! Those are some serious convulsions. Someone do something. Wasting my time with this hallway. Turn around, Bell. What the lab? What the hell is Bell doing in the lab?
spell. Forget about the damn lab. I need to know about the bunker. Comrades, the United States and its allies slowly consume survive another round. You're asking me? Do it. We're not leading empty-handed. Script 17. Ready. Bell. You've got a job to do. We've been over this already. Skip ahead to the next one. The bunker door was right there at the ruins, Bell. You went in. Bell, go into the bunker now. Bell, open the door. Tell me about Perseus. States and its allies slowly consume that which is dear to us. Our leaders continue to weaken under this threat. It is the moral duty of Perseus to act when they will not. Soon we will possess an American nuclear bomb. The key to unlocking their entire green light arsenal. Once we control the green light arsenal, we will detonate them all from the safety of Solovetsky. You gotta admit I'm surprised. I didn't think they'd recover so fast. We tried everything. Normal forms of interrogation won't work. Breaking a subject's will and erasing their mind is a difficult and painful process. That's a small price to pay. The CIA's mind control program has had a great deal of success with implanted memories. You want me to tell them about my time in Vietnam? Lastly, you'll need a command phrase to trigger the implanted memories. We have a job to do. We have a job to do. You had to reach the Soviet bunker. It appears the subject's programming is beginning to take hold. We've got a job to do. We've known each other for years. Fought together, bled together, been through the hell of Vietnam together. We've got a job to do. And now the training's complete. We just need to give the subject a name. Bell.
He's coming too. Bell, no more fucking around. What did Perseus say? Where is he? What you're going through now is nothing compared to what you'll experience if you don't start cooperating. Bullshit is what your whole life will amount to if you don't come clean. Tell us where Perseus is. Where is Perseus? You tell us, Bell. That's what this whole fucking thing is about. Bell, you are one of them. We think Perseus cut you out of the picture in Turkey. Adler found you still alive. When the plane leaves trap zone, he's stopping in Dugo. This you know. Here's what you don't know. Perseus won't be there. None of these hired guns are going to leave Duva alive. We'll dump their bodies in the forest. Then we will move the weapons to Volkov in Berlin. From there, we fly to Solovetsky. But I have other plans for you. Perseus thinks too highly of you. I don't want the competition. We were there. We found you after everything went down. The CIA reinvented you, Bell. We needed to give you a new identity to replace the old. It was Park's idea to make you MI6. She wanted that bond with you. He even picked up a bit of her accent. And we were able to utilize your language and cryptography skills as an added bonus. The bigger challenge was your memory. You were put through the CIA's MK Ultra program. Gave you new memories, things constructed out of Adler's. It's fucked up. But they needed you to believe you were one of us. No. Count yourself lucky. You've only had those memories for a few months. Me? I've been living with them for over a decade. Are your hands clean, Bell? Interrogation didn't work with you, but thanks to MK Ultra's research, we had a backup plan. If you believed you were someone else, we could lead you to a place where you'd give everything up. I don't think so. You're still holding back on us, and we are gonna get it out of you. We have a job to do. Bell, come on, we've got a job to do. We've got a job to do. The trigger phrase kept you in line, but it didn't get us everything we needed. Your innermost secrets were always locked behind a door. Bell, I realize you probably hate us right now, what we've done to you. I just need you to fully understand the stakes here. What you do right now is not about me, it's not about you, it's about millions of other fucking people. It's about stopping someone who in the end has no true allegiance to anyone other than himself. So tell me, where is Perseus? Once we control the Green Waters, we will detonate them all from the safety of Solovetsky. This is your chance to find who you really are, Bell. Where is Perseus? From the safety of Solovetsky. 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 
Sims, get Washington on the line. Everyone else gear up. We're leaving now. You made the right choice, Bill. Come on. You're still one of us. Perseus. The CIA's analysts consider him to be the single largest threat to the free world. You've been given an important task. Protecting our very way of life from a great evil. The United States and its allies slowly consume that which is dear to us. We are hours away from Perseus detonating nuclear bombs in every major European city. We'll do whatever it takes. Some of us have crossed the line. To make sure the line's still there in the morning. heroes or villains. They don't know us. As for me, I've been chasing this ghost for 13 years. That ends now.
Take out that AA gun! Stand back, it's hot! Nice work, Bell. Head for the church. I know that. Just be ready to launch when I tell you, Hudson. Contact!
gotta go now. They did it, Mr. President. They stopped the nukes. Thank God. And the CIA. Did they get Perseus? No, sir. His whereabouts are unknown. And a Russian response? Nothing yet. We're seeing signs of confusion. It's possible this was all a rogue operation. Perseus may not have been following orders from Moscow. Well, I'll be damned. Maybe we have something in common after all. Take my hand, Bell. We did it. This is a message to Perseus and those that'll follow him. We don't just sit back and hope for the best. We'll make the best happen. This is how wars are won, Bell. Do you have an update on Kasim Javadi? Yeah. With both he and Arash Kadavar dead, their terrorist network collapsed as surviving members fought for control. With no clear leadership in place, it appears the Soviets have decided to cut ties and clean up the mess. Approximately 72 hours ago, the militant's primary encampment was burned to the ground. Nothing but ashes. Apparently the few survivors that escaped have scattered and gone into hiding. What about Anton Volkov? Volkov has become a prime source of information since his capture. After interrogating him, MI6 quickly established a series of listening posts in East Berlin. They've already intercepted messages from the KGB to assets throughout the city. We're poking holes in the Iron Curtain. How did the cleanup in Havana go? We were able to recover Agent Park's body from the compound in Cuba. President Reagan personally reached out to her family and her caskets in transit to London. We spoke in MI6. They're understandably displeased. We owe them one. Lazar Azale is recovering from his injuries in Tel Aviv. We'll return to the agency in good time. The pursuit of Perseus is personal for him now. What about the rest of the team? They got off Solovetsky before the Soviets could send in forces to investigate. We'll take some time to heal up, then it's back to work. We may have stopped Perseus, but his rats are still nesting all around us, thanks to the help of one of our own. True. We failed to hunt down Robert Aldrich and his domestic network of spies. We may have to go to more extreme measures, like broad domestic surveillance, which of course we're not authorized to do. Not yet. What about Europe? We may have saved it from getting blown to Kingdom Come, but it's still stacked with Perseus's agents. There is more we could have done there if we'd had the time. And Bell. Arctic air. There's the head, doesn't it? Bell, you made two extraordinary sacrifices to stop Perseus. One was without your knowledge. The other, you made that decision of your own accord. I just want you to know that this little thing that's happened with you and me. It was always for the greater good. You're a goddamn hero, you know that kid. Heroes have to make sacrifices. That's why when I ask you for one more, I hope you understand. It was never personal.